Hi guys, it's me, Keisha here, the Enchanted Dreamcatcher, and welcome back to a, another video. For those of you who are new here, I am so happy to have you. Thank you for stumbling on my little part of the YouTube universe, and I post new videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday at 6pm, and I talk all about uh, magic, positivity, law of attraction, uh, beauty and a little of everyday life thrown in there for good measure. So without further ado, let's hop on into this video. my top you've probably seen this if you're like an og follower you've probably seen this in videos before got it in walmart a few years ago just to stay wild me and child with like a dream catcher and i love it and it's purple which is one of my favorite colors but yeah i digress so this video we are going to be doing the next one in my sabbath celebration series and this one is all about mayborn so I'm excited and um, if you see me looking that way it's because I've got my iPad there with some notes that I've written on there so I will try not to look that way too much but if I do I apologize like in advance as I'm sure that is like super annoying and if you hear squeaking it's just my bed <laughs> but I try not to move too much either but uh, so yeah so I apologize for that as well. So let's get into it. So Mayborn, as I'm sure you guys know, or I assume <laughs> you know, is um, the Sabbath is the name of the second of the three harvest festivals. The first being Lassard, which was last month, the beginning of August. This one, Mayborn, being towards the end of September. And then the last one, being Samhain at the end of October. So this second of the three harvest festivals is also known as the Fall or Autumn Equinox. It happened, celebrated around the 21st of September. It is also where day and night are of equal length. So this Sabbath is all about sort of um, synchronicity, sort of balance and harmony like that perfect balance between light and dark and also as well with it being a harvest festival um harvest sabbath uh, more crops and things like that are being harvested so the sort of i feel like the key theme for this sabbath is like um is sort of like abundance and giving thanks and uh things like that it's all about sort of having appreciation for sort of half and home family friends and all that sort and all that sort of stuff so i feel like the sort of like key takeaway for the sabbath if you will is all about sort of giving thanks and abundance and sort of reaping what you've sown throughout the year whether that be uh physically or metaphorically so let's talk about correspondences so the sort of colours that you would associate with this time of year are your browns, your reds, your oranges, uh, your sort of yellows, your more sort of earthy fall tones, if you will. Sort of an the animals that correspond with the Sabbath are uh, owls, wolves, squirrels, uh, sort of crows, stag. Uh, dog, fox, uh, the crystals that you may like to incorporate into if you do seasonal alter or if you do 
uh, rituals and spell work and things like that is um, amber, oh I love amber, it's one of my favourites, uh, peridot, you've got so gold, citrine, diamond, uh, different herbs that you may want to use in your practices this time of year. Let me just do one thing, I feel like I'm a bit far away. How are we, are we liking that? Yeah, I'm liking that a little bit better. Um, so herbs, uh, yarrow, rue, uh, sage, frankincense, rosemary, they're all really good herbs to uh, use and incorporate in your um, practice. Um, if you, However, you plan on celebrating the Sabbath or honoring the sort of turning of the wheel of the year. Uh, rose hips as well is another one. Chamomile, cinnamon, couldn't have this time of year without having cinnamon like for me anyway like cinnamon just is just the fall it's just fall if you had to describe like one like a word to describe fall for me it's just cinnamon uh different flowers you're looking at sort of like your mum's sunflowers marigolds um, foods that you may want to either leave as offerings or um, have as like your cakes and ale after your ritual or just sort of um, create however get make whatever to sort of symbolize this time of the year would be all your sort of more sort of um, stodgy hearty foods to sort of like comforting foods that you have this time of year sort of like for that sort of transition time so breads sort of pies uh, berries you could forage for berries that would be fun i know i don't know where you are but in england like now we're starting to get loads of like uh blackberries and things like that and you get like tend to get loads of like blackberry bushes and things like that at the edge of like either like um trails or the side of roads and things like that and you see people sort of picking blackberries you could make a really good like apple and blackberry pie that would be delicious or a crumble uh your nuts grains uh squash pumpkins gourds um different ales and wines corn and all sorts of dried fruits so talking on that you i don't know if you do a or have a seasonal altar or if you sort of change up your altar like to fit with the seasons i don't i feel like i should but I don't but if you did and you may want to sort of be thinking about how you can uh, decorate and stuff with the changing of the year and things like that so things seasonal things that you could put on your altar to incorporate the sort of May barn fall start of fall sort of theme are acorns you do apples gourd sunflowers uh, cornucopias I love cornucopias they just remind me of Thanksgiving uh, corn uh, you could do different sort of candles. You could have candles like in like red, sort of gold, um, browns, all those earthy sort of four colours. Uh, besoms, you could have mini ones, big huge ones, ones you've made yourself. You could adorn those with different fall-esque things. Uh, pumpkins, pine cones, other pine cones. You could create some sort of fall like garland, like using... Um, you could use different leaves and things like that that you've collected and string it along with like acorns and all different kinds of stuff so yeah and anything that's sort of like the yellow gold brown like red orange sort of thing so yeah the world your oyster with that and also as well um if you don't feel particularly crafty or don't have the supplies or whatever um, I've noticed a lot of stores more so in England now and never do in America anyway they're starting to sort of have more seasonal decoration so you can go into like places like home sense or supermarkets and things like that and you can see like a sort of seasonal section where you can pick up loads of different sort of decorating or decorative items that you could use on your fall altar so activities then that sort of ties nice in, night in nicely with activities decorating your altar for maybon is a nice sort of a uh, nice way to honour the Sabbath. Uh, you could also go apple picking or visit a pumpkin patch. Anything like that would be like super awesome. Also walking along like cornfields and stuff like that is like so cool. Uh, also baking. So you could do like apple pie or like apple and blackberry, uh, pumpkin, pecan, any sort of 
any sort of pie that you like and that you feel for you has an association with this time of year you could also go on a nice walk in nature so you could go and sort of like pick leaves and things like that I know me and my niece before have gone like leaf picking it's really fun like trying to find really pretty leaves that have fallen and then bring them back and you can either put them on your altar you could decorate them use them in your spells do whatever um you could also use those fallen leaves that you've picked to make a fall wreath like for your door or something like that there's like loads of tutorials and videos and things like that online on how to make wreaths for fall so you could do that that would be really fun if you do that i would love to see a picture also decorating your whole home with fall decor like i said there's so many stores like uh like home sense and um like i don't know sainsbury's asda like b and m uh home bargains there's all sorts of different sort of um stores where you could find like home and deck like home sort of style goods and use decorative stuff or if you're in america obviously you've got a vast plenty of places you can go so you you know all your home goods your dollar tree family dollar general dollar uh walmart target um Kroger or any sort of local supermarket so many places that you can go so yeah like there's just so many things you can do places you can go to pick up some really cool for for goods to decorate your home uh, you could also um, press leaves so leaves that you pretty leaves you found as they fall you could um, bring those home and dry them out so press them like like you press flowers between like pages of like heavy books you could do that with leaves and they dry out and you could use them to decorate in your book of shadows like on your altar you could do any sort of crafting things you want really um so yeah like i've said going leaf picking you could make a corn dolly that would be so cool i'd love i need to learn how to make one once i've learned how to make one i will do a tutorial on it but yeah, I love like the corn dollies. You can learn how to make one of those and you could use that, put that on your, um, put it in your home or put it on your altar and also as well. That'd be good for like sowing as well. Be really cool. Um, you could make sort of fall inspired um, incense, candles, potpourri, um, like essential oil, like anything really like soaps, bath bombs. You can make anything sort of fall, like fall inspired with the sort of, fragrances that you would associate with fall you could also make a fall fairy garden that sounds so fun like you um so you could get a pot and you could get some um you could get some earth and then you could get like little uh pine cones and acorns and uh different colored leaves and all different sort of plants and you could really like go to town on it and make it really fun and festive you could also craft a dream catcher or a besom. I've been practicing making some pretty dream catchers at the moment that I'm going to be listing in my shop when it is up and ready to go. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but yes, you could make a you could make a besom as well. You could um, when you're out on your nature walk, you could take twigs and branches that have fallen and. Uh, make that into a really pretty besom for your altar or for your ritual spell work whatever that i think that would be a really fun thing to do you could drink some apple cider like i love apple cider as in like in england like if, if you're probably saying apple cider you're probably thinking of alcohol which is good if you want to but i'm more of the i mean the sort of more sort of american style like apple, apple cider i love apple cider tea like a really nice like hot warming cup of that it's just so good and also as well just like sitting outside and noticing the change in the season or, you, or when you go on your walk just sort of like notice you can just notice like the change like observe the change in the air like the change of the leaves changing like everything just sort of like shifting and turning as the wheel of the year is still turning on even in these uncertain times the world is still spinning the world is still moving along so it, sometimes it's good to sort of just take a step back and just sort of observe and honour that change 
also as well you could try to eat seasonal fruit and vegetables i know because like a lot of us that shop like in supermarkets and stuff like we're so used to getting fruit and vegetables flown halfway across the world that we don't really have the quote unquote seasonal vegetables and fruit that we would have done like when our parents were young um but yeah you could um as i've noticed like, i went to the supermarket earlier there's sort of a lot of sort of like squashes and uh carrots and um like different onions and gourd it started to be a lot more um of this sort of this rich sort of like earthy potatoes a lot of sorts it's starting to be a lot more sort of like fall type or this sort of wintry season type food so you could make like a nice soup with some like a nice stew or something with some wintry vegetables like i said before with the blackberries you could pick some or buy some blackberries and some apples and you can make a nice apple and blackberry crumble apple and blackberry pie like pecan pie pumpkin pie like anything as well i think like trying to eat seasonally like really helps us to sort of like feel in tune with what like with the sort of changing of the year and the changing of the seasons and also one of my favorite things to do this time of year is to get nice and cozy under like a really thick warm blanket with some fluffy slippers on and watch some sort of like Halloween-y, Christmas-y fall type movies or TV series and drink a nice big cup of hot chocolate and yeah that's just like perfect to me like just absolutely perfect so I hope I've given you like a couple of ideas of things that you can do to mark this change of the year and as always i would love to know what you get up to for maybon and yeah so you a comment below um inbox me uh comment on one of my social medias like tag me in any like uh videos or photos or anything like that as i would love to see them and i hope that you have a really fun and blessed maybon until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.